Good evening and welcome back everyone. First of all, I just wanted to start out by saying how much I do appreciate anyone that watches these videos and likes the video, comments and subscribes to the channel. I do understand that a lot of people may only watch certain portions of the video, so I thought I'd say that up front. And going into today, we have made a few changes. We can see Pedri is actually going to start on the left-hand side of the front three today. Diaby's still out injured, so Messi comes back in in that right-hand role. Modric, our new signing, the regen, he's coming in midfield today. He did come on as a sub in the last match and played very well. And Vieira and Bellingham continue in there too. Baka and Kostinu have come back in. Bonner and Debussy are placing Gvardiol. And Neuer's come in goal. Got a bit of a daytime kickoff today for change, which is good to see. I'd just let you know, no further updates in the transfer window. We've been making some contract negotiations with our players just to increase their salaries where I feel appropriate and just to extend them. But we haven't actually made any sort of further bids for anyone or anything like that. I don't think we're going to. I think we're happy with the squad. And obviously, we, well, we're well, we loaning Modric currently with an option to buy. So we'll want to try and make that permanent as soon as possible. Don't quite have the funds yet. Now, if we do sell anyone or loan anyone out and get a fee, I think we're only about three million short of, of making that permanent. So we'll definitely do it sometime. And obviously stats aren't like brilliant at the moment as a pretty good mind um but he is one for the future being a regen castro bellingham oh, just loses out there just a heavy touch just at the wrong time and we won four nil in the last match and um, went quite at our fluent best but very uh, oof, dominant. Here's Pedri. Oh, just wide. It's starting Pedri further up the pitch. Just because we want to give Martin any rest. And by the way, Vieira has got the captaincy today. Normally we've been having Martin Ellie as the captain, Diaby as the vice. Just because some of the traits they've got uh, means that players get increased XP. When they're captain. Oh, here's Pedri. Good ball across, and it's a great little finish there from Messi. Back in the action. Of course, another regen. I don't want to do just regen, so we're trying to mix things up. Um, but you do eventually, obviously, the more you play the game, the more the regens come into it. Nice ball down the line from Castro. Pedri does the right thing and plays the ball across. Messi there for the tap in. See Pedri's a massive, he's an absolute superstar. What is he, 91 overall rated, but he's also very young, so he's going to be in the squad for many years to come. Tackle from Bellingham. Got to get it back. Good block there. I don't know quite what Debushi was doing there. Causing absolute havoc. Good save from Neuer. Just clear it. Here's Messi. Now Modric. Good play from him. We're back to Modric again. Nelly loses it, does well. Does lose it that time. Not much space going on there. Messi. Now back at. Messi again. Nice play to Vieira. Vieira. What a finish. Great finish from Vieira. And Messi with the assist. Very patient. A lot of bodies in the way. Nice ball from Messi. And, and Vieira just used his body. Did a little feint. And then round the keeper. See a nice little one too. 
That first touch there takes it away from the defender. Second touch and then round the defender and the keeper. Captain for the day. But he has recently got a role, not quite as good as Morton and Ian Diaby's, but he, um, he gives a little bit of extra XP when he's captain as well. But it's a weird one because I'm not 100% sure how it works, but it does say it can change depending on the rating. And I think that means if he gets a higher rating, then the XP will be even higher. And if he gets a low rating, it'll be lower. I think that's what it means. So it's like a risky one. I mean, normally he plays well, but you can never guarantee it. It's Vieira. And Modric. Back at. Ooh, deflected there. Got their, uh, their centre forward's a bit of a beast like. Very tall. Here's Modric. Nice play from him. Now Pedri. Now Bellingham. Oh, just wide. Really should have hit the target there. It's nice play and a, a really good ball from Pedri. Um, Pedri's a little bit off his game in the last one. Not massively, just not at his best. Same for Vieira, actually. Um, but already they're looking very sharp. Here's Modric. Nice play. Oh, he's offside. Yeah. Just as he played it, he was coming back. Oh, marginally. I mean, his foot is probably offside there. Nice, uh... Nice he won. Don't get much luck with the where it's gone. Good take from Neuer. Want to get this out quickly. We do to Pedri. And Modric just about wins it back, but... Ah, for God's sake. A little bit unfortunate there. I thought we had a good counter-attack going. If he ever wins it back, though. It's a nice ball over to Messi. Now Debussy. Messi again. Modric. Ah, safely taken. Decent shot. Maybe not enough power in it. Costney wins it this time. And that's a free kick. Modric getting fouled. Maybe. What's happened here? Don't know what's going on there. Now back at Pedri. He gets absolutely taken out there. And this is going to be a free kick in a dangerous place. Just hope he hasn't picked up a knock or anything. Let's have a look. I think we're going to have Fabio Vieira take this because he's on and up. Ah, poor. It's the defender. It should be a corner though. And it is. One last chance. But well, we'll be half time. 2 0. Not bad. We played well. Yeah, could have maybe done better than 2 0. Um, some missed opportunities, but played, played pretty well overall. Oh, nice play from Modric. Oh, Pedri just couldn't quite take it in his path. Here's Messi. Oh, it's a flex just wide. Yeah, Pedri's played well over on that left-hand side. You can play pretty much anywhere in midfield and at the front three if you wanted to. Oh, and it's in. 
And Castro will get a goal. Bit of a goal mouth scramble there. It's a great header initially from, I think it was Pedri. And then on the rebound, Castro gets in. Well, not uh, look at that replay again. It was just a scramble. Strange to say who's really been man of the match. I'd probably say Pedri's been the best player so far. And obviously there's a fair way to go. Nice play from Messi there. Fiera now. Nice ball. Oh, Castro just didn't quite take it fully in his stride. Now Modric. Pedri and Vieira. Castro, so in such, such strength. Shoots it straight at the keeper, but he did so well there. Really good stuff. He was getting there, pushed and pulled around. Running that back again. Now Castro. Again, getting fouled. So many uh, niggles in this game from the opposition. Bushi. Ruben Castro. I have no idea what that was. We'll make some subs now. We're going to take Messi off for Joaquin. Fabio Vieira is going to go off for Modric. And Kangen Lee is going to come on for Modric. Obviously just some tired bodies there. But all of the uh, the guys going off have performed very well. We should look at good ratings. Joaquin, surprisingly, one of the players that's uh, he's done very well. He wasn't really a player I was thinking of keeping necessarily. But he's performed well in a few different games. Here's Pedri again. Down the lane to back. There's not really anyone in, in the box, though. Here's Debushi. Joaquin. Bellingham. I'm not sure what happened there. I thought Pedri had it. Maybe it was a little bit too hard. Oh, it's poor. Just sloppy. Oh, but he wins it back. Pedri, again, looks like he was fouled. I don't know how it wasn't. Just as he's taken the shot, he gets taken out. Been there, one of the main stories of the day. Here's Joaquin. Got pace to burn. A really nice ball to Pedri. Pedri, very good save there. I was looking for someone in the box and there wasn't really anyone there. So, took the only option, which was really to have a shot. Kang in. Modric. Nice ball to Debushi there. Back to Modric. Now Lee Kang in. Blocked. No way through there. There's just no space. How is that not a free kick? He got absolutely, well, shoulder barged. Defender did not get the ball. I don't know what is going on with the referee today. He's actually gave us a few free kicks, but he's bottled it on a few occasions. They've uh, just been trying to ruin the play. Madrick now. Now Castro. Lee Kang in. Pedri. Absolutely taken out again. I hope Pedri's not injured. Because often you tackles like that in the game, you get a 
notification later that they've picked up a knock and we were through there I was going to play the little one too um, let's go for Kang and Lee just trying to get it right oh it just over it was close yeah Got it though, because I think Pedri would have been in for a goal there, playing that little one-two. And that's well, their plan worked. Here's Castro, and again, how is that not a free kick? Absolutely dirty team. This didn't expect it today. Castro. Now Pedri. That runs into trouble there. Bit of a hopeful ball there. And we kept the throw in luckily. He just touched it as it was about to go off. Now Mudrick. Pedri. Now Bellingham. Pedri again. Again gets taken out. What is going on in this game? And it's full time. Rating wise, Messi getting him out of the match? Maybe a little bit surprised, I thought. I mean, it could have been anyone between Messi, Vieira and Pedri, I'd probably say. And the subs came on and did a decent job, but there was just too many fouls towards the end of that game there. Hopefully no injuries after this match. So good news is no notification after the match that anyone's injured. And Diaby's only got one day left, so he will be fully, fully fit for the next match, which is at home against Sporting de Gijon. And like I said earlier, I do appreciate your guys' support. If you can, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.